American prosecutors have charged dozens of people in a multi-million dollar scheme to help wealthy Americans buy their children's way into some elite universities. Our Washington Bureau Chief Joy Malbin joins me now with more. This is a scandal <laughs> of enormous uh, propriety. I don't know how to even put it. Joy, tell us a little bit about the scheme, how it worked, and who was involved. Uh, well, this is huge. I mean, it involves two Hollywood actresses, uh, Academy Award uh, uh, nominee Felicity Huffman from Desperate Housewives and Lori Loughlin, who was in Full House and, and some Hallmark movies. Uh, and uh, the FBI, the IRS, this is a year-long investigation. Uh, they allege that wealthy people like those actresses, fashion designers, CEOs, real estate people, they would basically pay a charity, uh, a nonprofit charity that was set up to help help that their children get into these elite schools, places like Georgetown, UCLA, um, Stanford. Uh, and the schemes, there were two of them. One was basically either to fake an athletic uh, sport, uh, and sometimes the students didn't even play basketball, didn't even play or not even part of a rowing team, and uh, they would actually fake profiles, Photoshop people's uh, the, the students' faces on the bodies of athletes to get them into some of these elite schools. The other scheme involved uh, bribing and paying people uh, to uh, essentially cheat for the students to get higher scores in order to get into these colleges. It's an elaborate scam, and the, the so-called ringleader, a man called um, uh, Rick Singer, uh, he will appear in court this afternoon at 2 o'clock and will plead guilty to this. My goodness. So... Were the schools themselves implicated or were they victims uh, as much as, as anybody else in this? Well, the FBI says uh, many of the schools did not know, but certainly some of the coaches mm. were bribed. They were part of this scheme. Uh, some of the students didn't even know uh, about the cheating scheme. Uh, uh, you know, they, they would take the test. Um, sometimes there was one scheme where uh, they would say that they had a medical problem. They were allowed to get some kind of medical dispensation so they could retake the test a second time. They would go to a separate test center, and that's where the cheating would happen. Either someone else would come in and give them the correct answers, or someone would just doctor the test exam uh, themselves. Uh, I, I mean, these are serious crimes, mm -hmm. and the FBI has, has used racketeering um, as part of this uh, uh, mail fraud and scheme. I, I mean, it, it went on for about seven years from 2011 to 2018, and something like $25 million was paid out in bribes for wealthy people, essentially, to get their kids into the best colleges and cheating regular kids, uh, you know, who, who didn't even have a chance to get in. Yeah. My goodness. I'm sure we'll hear lots more for the coming days. Uh, appreciate the update, Joy. Thank you. Thanks.